Welcome to Art with Jim. This week we are going to be making Basquiat's King Dinosaurs. Now it's time to get our supplies. You're going to need to get some paper. In this case I use red construction paper, but any color will do. You'll need a pencil to draw, pastels to add color, in this case I'm using oil pastels, but chalk pastels work great too, and you could even use crayon. I'll need scissors and yarn to add some texture, and then don't forget the Elmer's glue. Now that I have my supplies, I can do the project. Let's get started. This week we are going to be learning about American artist Jean-Michel Basquiat. Now Basquiat was most famous in the 1980s and he was from New York and that's where he made most of his art. Now what I love most about Jean-Michel is that he drew on everything and I mean everything. It first started when his dad would bring home papers from work and he would draw on the backs of them. He would draw on walls both inside and outside. He also would draw on his friend's artwork. So here he is with his good friend Andy Warhol and they would collaborate, meaning they would work together on the same piece of art. Now how cool is that? Now here I'm going to show you one of his artworks, right? Now maybe think of one or two things you can say about it. I'm going to think about that too. All right, did you get him? So for me, what I love about this, and this is actually a picture of a rabbit, is that you don't necessarily even know what it is a picture of. It's less about making a rabbit look maybe like a photograph. We've all seen drawings like that. This is more about the feeling of the rabbit. It has expression. So what does that mean? It means that because of the color, the shape, and the lines, it feels like something. Can you believe that? You can make art that will make other people feel the same way you do. And like this rabbit here, I'm feeling all kinds of interesting things. It is a very cool way to make art. Here's another one of his creatures. This, I'll be honest, I don't even know what kind of animal it is. It has very sharp teeth though, and it makes me feel a certain way. How does it make you feel? Oh, and finally, you know I love dinosaurs and monsters. So here is one of his most famous paintings of a T-Rex. And check it out, it has a crown. So we all know that the T-Rex was the king of the dinosaurs. And Jean-Michel Basquiat would draw that crown on a lot of his artworks too. He thought of himself as a bit of a king too, in terms of being an artist. He felt like the king of his own art. And that's how we should feel about our art as well. All right, now it's time to make my artwork. I'm looking at Jean-Michel Basquiat's T-Rex right? So I love the expression of that drawing. I also love the subject matter. So I'm going to do something similar like a dinosaur, but it's really up to you what you want to make. If you want to make a creature, an animal, a dinosaur, or even a face, Jean-Michel Basquiat drew all of those things. Remember, he loved to draw, so he drew just about everything. But I'm going to draw a dinosaur here. I can start with pencil, but I have a feeling it might not show up too well. So I'm going to use my oil pastel because it's going to show up really, really well for the camera. But go ahead and feel free to use pencil first if that works better for you. And believe me, I practiced this before my video. So I have an idea of what I'd like to draw. I'm going to draw a really long neck dinosaur. Kind of like that. Hey, not bad. All right. Now, I'm going to add my crown too, because I have a feeling that will make it look just like a Basquiat. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think so. All right, now it's time for some detail. I love the red here because I can use white pastel on top. So let me draw in some of his eyes. Whoa, do you notice you could see both eyes on the same side of the head? Same thing with mine. I'm basically going to copy exactly what I see. And then maybe I'll draw some lines here and here. Now take a look at all these cool designs too. So I added the white lines, but look at some of the red shapes and it's colored in pretty dark too. Again, use any color you want. I'm using this as inspiration, but I plan on changing it. So I'm going to add some blue. I can be as messy as I want and it actually looks kind of cool to let some of that red paper show underneath. Look at how much that pops. My goal here is to fill it in, but not all the way. I'm being kind of sketchy with it in a way, but 
but I love that I can see the red underneath. All right, now I need something for the crown here. I'm gonna go with yellow. Now yellow kinda doesn't show up too well on the red paper, but maybe I'll add some white. Wow, look at that. Yellow and white made it bright, like a bright yellow, just like that. Maybe I'll do the same thing here for my spikes. Can't really see the spikes, right? But let me go ahead and add some white on top. Hey, <laughs> how cool. Doesn't this just look like the Basquiat inspiration? Now, ooh, didn't know if red on red would work, but actually it absolutely works. Maybe make the tongue coming out the front. And maybe, see that red circle? Maybe I'll draw that on too. And wow, it almost turns purple. All right, there you have it. There is my Jean-Michel Basquiat inspired dinosaur. Now, one last detail. I'd like to add some yarn to give it some texture. So, I got some really colorful yarn here. You could take a look. It's all different colors. I'm kind of tracing my dinosaur head shape with glue. Now, in my experience, a little bit more glue works better. I don't think I put it enough on first time around, so let me just add a little bit more. And also, too much glue can also be an issue. So I think that's just the right amount. All right, so let me take my yarn here, and I'm just gonna line it up, and I might get a little bit of glue on my fingers, but hey, that's what art making's all about, getting a little messy. Ooh, and see it's not perfectly over on top, but it adds a little bit of texture, which will be really nice when it dries. And remember, the glue will dry clear. I'm gonna line up the bottom here, and then take my scissors and trim it. Wow, would you look at that? So now it's actually 3D, meaning it's popping out of the paper. This is one of my favorite drawings that I think I've ever made. I'd love to see what you work on too. Thank you guys, and I will see you next time.